before he drove it above his head. And he's going to have to settle up for 140. I'm sure Carlson, I can't see him going beyond this. A little readjustment before he goes for this 150. Well, if he does get 150, I'll take my hat off to him. He's got a very basic technique to roll that weight up the front of the chest before the drive. That's a lot of weight on the arms, but he's done it. This boy is strong. Now, I thought 150 might be beyond him, so surely 160 with that very flat arm lift of his towards the end may be too much. Again, the balance is all over the place from Carlson. And he simply can't even drive at that one. So 150 is his final total. Not bad. He's not going to threaten the top positions. And Venter, after posting that initial score, is still in top position with 185. Sure the only man that can put pressure on these guys is this guy, Stoyan Todorachev. And he really has got everything it takes to make a decent effort at this. Good powerlifting background and takes time to stabilise the weight once it's gone up. Safely negotiates that. Straight in at 160. 170, the next target. Now, remember, they're in the heat. They're using up a lot of energy here. And the next jump, rather predictably, he's gone straight for 180. So misses 175, goes straight to 180. Needs to get it right, and he needs to get it right pretty much first time. If he's not going to get it up now, I don't think he's going to be able to hoist that weight above his head for a clean lift. Well, he's marching about with the weight again. And down it goes, and disappointment for the big man from Bulgaria. Has to be satisfied with a lift of 170, and plenty of athletes have recorded that. There's going to be a lot of athletes sharing third place, and indeed there are Katana Tojarkev and Sarebyakov in the end, but Venter takes 12 points. Well, after that first event, we spoke to promoter Alexei Shabanovsky. Well, Alexei says, from my point of view, the contest is going really well. Even though there's severe heat here in Moscow and the weather is not going to yield. Today, very hot, but uh, we'll see it in the results. I hope the athletes can still be successful. I think the perspective is good. And after one year, our team has reached brilliant results. And if you compare one year back to today, you'll see it's two different teams. And, and now I think the whole organization is simply first class. Certainly is Alexei. Now the truck pull, second discipline. Again, we have uh, different formats for the truck pull on the United Strongman Series. Sometimes it's uh, the harness for the athletes to drive forward. But as Mikhail Sadorachev is going to demonstrate today, it's arm over arm. And the initial problem for the lighter athletes anyway, like Sadorachev, is how do you get the truck moving? It's the drive back, the drive with the quads to sit down onto the floor, and then it's purely arm over arm. 8,000 kilograms of truck being tugged along as if it was a small car. And Sadorachev gets off to a cracking start. So 20.25 seconds for Sadorachev and our first chance to look at Mark Felix of Grenada in action. The 40-year-old just losing his grip a bit on that initial tug, but now he's got it moving. He really has got it moving a much slower more deliberate style, but he moves the truck so far on each pull. You are just coming out way too fast, you know. Just keep coming, you know, because it's a bit light. But I'm happy with that. Well, really unlucky. 20.57 seconds just outside the time of Sidorichev. So the Russian leads, and it's another Russian next up. Sarev Zhakov. Good speed away from the line. Now, what's he got? Arm over arm. Well, I said he looked like a James Bond baddie at the start of the show. Licence to pull. This one is going to be very close. 20.25, remember, for compatriot Sadorichev to beat. It's going to be tight. No, I think he's just missed out. As he said, we're going to have to wait and see. He's pleased. 
but maybe not quite as delighted when he hears that he has just missed out 20.81 seconds. So Sidorachev still leads. Irving Katten. Felt he hurt his arm. Just around the bicep attachment at the elbow in the log lift. Well, that's the last thing you want when you're going to try and go at this event. And that is an amazing technique. Katana just pulling and pulling. No drive back. That's all arms. And that's got to be burning. And across the line in 20.91. Yes, very hard, very hot, and, and, and finish the day, I'm happy. I think I'm third now. This is not bad. Uh, two times in this iteration, one first, one third. This is not, not my event, and, and uh, I was not luck. I have a couple mi mistakes, and I'm happy. For well, those of you that remember Ravis Vitsis of Latvia, well, remember, he was Mr. Consistent, while well, Katana has taken over that title on this year's series. Next up, Sebastian Venta. Watch this man's technique. As soon as he drives back, he's so tall at two metres, he can pull this truck a long way with arms and drive back, and he's using it sparingly, maybe too sparingly. Venta trying to get under 2.25, but a lot of slips. He surely can't do it now. Sadonachev is going to be the winner. Yes, he is. Venter just misses out. I'm so happy. Well, I'm very happy. I feel that I was better last year in the final in Thailand, but this was also good, and the crowd supported me, especially the Polish people here. A well, Polish strongman now picking up such a massive fan club across the world, and their, their fans travel far and wide to support these guys. And they get to cheer a third place for Venter. Felix gets second, and Sidorichev takes the top points. Next up, the Conan wheel, 380 kilograms. So there won't be a problem for the strong man to lift it. There won't be a problem for three normal men to lift it. But it won't be a problem for our big guys. Now, once it's up, then the difficulty starts. You've got to pace it out around the circle. And your distance is recorded. And Carlson once again finding that not only is the weight tough, it's the movement of that sling his barrels rocking back and forth it's terrible how the strong went referees try to provide as much difficulty in these events as possible Carlson seven and a half meters I never come in balance well, I was never in balance says Thomas still nothing to cry about Carlson finding that it was the rocking motion on the pole that was the problem every time it rocked back so did he First chance to see uh, Gris Kozelniks of Latvia in action. And that's a really steady form from Kozelniks. Shown as much so far at this event, but he's going to drive this out well beyond the 7.5 metre mark. I would say 10 or 11 metres about the pass. 